Hi Pisces, welcome to your What They Aren't Telling You reading for May 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is an all-encompassing reading, meaning it's going to take a look at whatever comes out. It's typically, though, it has always been um, romantic, so it might just end up being that still. But it um, could be about work, could be family. Anything goes here, especially with Rona getting in play. Um, this, if it is about a person, it may be yours or your person's moon rising or venus sign also i mean it could be theirs it could be yours too all right pisces i feel like that's awfully close good gracious just feels so close to me hold on a minute i'm gonna see if i can like zoom this out because that just feels really weird it's really close I, apparently not. Okay. Four of Cups. King of Swords. That could be Gemini. Nine of Wands. Yay. Three of Wands. Three of Swords. Knight of Swords. That could be Aquarius. Well, the whole family's here. Um, Queen of Swords. All right. Ace of Swords. Why not? Okay, all right, let me get the little guys here. Wow. Hmm. This is, okay, all right, well, well, okay. hold on a minute. this four of cups about so uh, someone's not doing too well without you but that doesn't necessitate you doing any kind of changes on your part though but I mean let me flesh this out here good good I like the hermit here I can't believe I didn't say that earlier hermit that could be Virgo okay yes I like that oh two nines two nines well that's good as you're, you're standing pretty firm in your decision. Even after you hear um, new knowledge or you got the confirmation that you needed, you're still pretty firm on things. Okay, all right, what's this four cups about? Five of swords, okay. King of swords, what's this king of swords about? No, let's do this three of wands. What's this three of wands about? What's this three of wands about for Pisces? Hermit again. Is three of swords about? There's three of swords. Knight of wands, that could be Leo. It's this queen of swords, that could be Libra. Six of cups. Knight of swords. So th this is someone that's not doing too well, eight of swords. This is... This feels like push, pull, push, pull, stop, start, stop, start. Like they they keep going away and then they come back and then they go away and then they come back. Is this a job reaching out and then not reaching out and then reaching because they don't know what's going on? That's across the board. It doesn't take a tarot reading to know that. And that all the jobs are up in the air. They might have put something to you yesterday, like offered, then changed it. And it keeps changing because their information keeps changing. But you're just like, okay, I'll just, I'm just going to be here. You just let me know today what's going on. Just today. It's for the job. What's this King of Swords about? What's this King of Swords? Okay. So this is, it, it kind of feels like someone might be giving you the silent treatment. Um, for the Pisces that I'm reading for, like they're not, they're kind of not, talking about how they feel they're not communicating that or they're not reaching out anymore and they're trying to make sense of stuff but um there's still a lot going on for them that they i think they want to say they have a lot to say but they don't feel like they can they don't feel like they can approach you about it probably best <laughs> probably best not to reopen anything um, and you're pretty much, you're maintaining this firm stance of like looking forward to your future. You're not really entertaining 
um, you're not encouraging or entertaining. Like it's all, it literally turns your back to them. Isn't that funny how that came out? And it feels like this is someone that they want to find a way to they, they, it's like they can't accept things the way that they are. They keep trying to find a different way to get back in there. They keep wanting to manage the situation. And I don't think they're taking... I, in the, the grossest form, it's not taking no for an answer. Thinking that you don't really mean what you said. In a more gentler, I guess, way, is this is somebody who's trying to come to terms with having their cookies taken away. <laughs> I hate to liken you to cookies, but they're not really liking how the situation turned out. And part of them wants to make up for it. And part of them wants to get back in there. They're, they're having a hard time accepting it. And it's, it's not that they're wanting to be a jerk about it. They just are like, are you sure? Are you sure? So, hmm. Okay. I think this is someone, no, this is... I feel like this is someone that reacted to your decision that that kind of went away because of a decision that you made like you called it and they're trying not trying they're doing what you said they're staying away but i think it's more like they're staying away and waiting until they can kind of try to find an entry point again um they don't want to they don't want to leave things the way it was left this is someone that's trying to deal with a lot of emotions about what has happened and they might be, you might have heard, or you, they might be saying that, yeah, you know, I'm fine. We're not talking. It's good. Fine. Whatever. I get it. I have to take care of myself too. It's fine. They're not happy about it though. They're, uh, this is someone that doesn't, is, is, they're having a hard time accepting that. That doesn't compel you to make it okay for them though. I'm not, that this isn't about, oh, Pisces, let up. No, you had your reasons. What's this nine of wands about? But this is, they, they might, <laughs> if they're telling you that they, they don't have, this is not somebody that has anybody else. This is not somebody, you might not even be talking to them, but this is not somebody that plans on moving on to someone else or yeah, it's just best. This is someone that's not, they're kind of mad slash upset about being cut loose and they haven't gone beyond that. This is someone that's trying to deal with that. This is not someone that is planning on moving on and they found someone else too and yeah, we're good. No, exactly what they're telling you is, is what they're feeling. That they're just going to kind of, okay, I guess I'll just go away then and I need to think about this and what I want for my future. Yeah, the only thing they're not telling you is that there, there's some heartache here and they don't know what to do about it. There's some sadness and some heartache and they're trying to figure it out. Three of Swords twice. None of you are happy about this. Neither of you, I should say. What's that? None of you. Hmm. There are more than two people. Freudian slip or not? What's this Nine of Wands about? Pisces. Temperance. That could be Sagittarius. Yeah. So balance and um, kind of taking a, a minute here is called for. <laughs> yes. Everybody needs to just take a minute. <laughs> um, this is... I like that you're not dealing with this because this person needs to get their emotions under control before you deal with them again because it's not easy for you either and they don't get to come in and dump that on you and then ha you have to sort out your emotions and theirs. That's not your job. So they might be having a hard time with it. Well, it's not easy for you either. It came to this. This didn't just happen overnight. It came to this. You had to be in a position where you had to, instead of your fluid nature, you had to get all of a sudden get pretty darn vertical and firm on something. That's not easy for Pisces. So the fact that it came to this is, is it kind of underscores the sort of magnitude of what you're dealing with here. Hence why someone has so many emotions all over the place about it, as they should. At the same time, it's not easy for you either. How they feel is not your responsibility because if they come rushing back in and they find that entry point, I, I worry that you're going to be, you're going to mistake their perseverance for romance and you know, back, back in the day when something was romantic because someone just was persistent, today we call that a stalker. <laughs> that's not romance, that's love bombing. You know what I mean? So it, it just, you know your situation and just because someone's not having, not dealing with this, they're not doing well, not your problem. You're, you might not be doing well. You know, you, you need some time to heal from this too. This hasn't been a cakewalk for you either. No matter how much you're flexing or fronting or whatever, this is, 
So they can just stay where they're at and deal with it, how they're going to deal with it and leave you alone. Like they said they would. Like they said they're going to kind of hold it. They need some time to think and this and that. Okay, I'm going to take you at your word. Don't make me get the law involved. I need you to, to do that. Not tell me you're going to do that. And then I just can't, I can't stand being without you. Well, learn. Not my problem. Have better coping skills. I'm not doing too well either. You need to... Okay, sorry. I just, I don't, I don't like that because of the fluid nature. And I don't want you to get all wishy-washy on it. You need to stand your ground and you're dealing with it too. You're trying to find balance and make sense of this too. You don't need to worry about their feelings. Shutting up. Sorry. Okay. All right. What's this Ace of Swords about? Okay. There it is. Now it's a party. And that's the devil, obviously. Uh, that could be Capricorn. So this is you also trying to make sense out of the shenanigans and trying to own it and be like, okay, this is what I did. This is what they did. Trying to make sense of all this. Need some time to figure this business out. Do not complicate this by rushing in here and trying to talk at me. So good for you for standing your ground. They need to also. If they're heartbroken, then they're heartbroken. That is, that's their heartbreak. And that's that. The, the boundaries, boundaries, and good for you for erecting them because this person's not going to want to stay gone. They might say they will, but this is someone that's going to want to get back in there to, to alleviate their own heartbreak about this. And sometimes that can be like sincere, like, can you just give me something? I'm, I'm sick over this. I need to know, do we have even have a chance? I'll leave you alone, but can you give me a little bit? I mean, that's kind of like, okay, you know, but then there's the one that's like, I know I need to work this out. No, you don't. I don't need you to need me to work this out with me. I need you to stay gone. And I need you to hear me or, you know what I mean? So this is someone that might say they're going to respect boundaries, but I, I feel like once it gets too uncomfortable, they're going to love bomb. They're going to do I just I don't because I think you were always the fixer before and I, I like that you're wanting to stay under yourself and just firmly face the future with or without this person you haven't even made a decision about that you're just wanting solace and they need to respect that and it doesn't matter what they have to say that it can wait this is not for you to fix this is for you to deal with your own stuff too and and I know I'm preaching the choir I know I know that I just, I, I guess the confirmation that you're doing the right thing by keeping to yourself and fortifying your base and doing you and, and working on you and you do you, <laughs> everything is Pisces and Pisces, <laughs> only Pisces, not this other, you know, and this, this could be you with somebody that you're just wanting to take, like it, it couldn't be, not couldn't be, it, it could be you in partnership just needing a minute to deal with something privately and, and someone who cares about you, you're in partnership, is like, let me help you. And you're like, nope, I got to figure this out on my own. I got I to gotta see clearly on my own. And they're just like watching you go through this and they want to help, but they can't. Could be that. But it could also be someone that's, if you're in separation and this, it feels like you're in separation here and someone is saying that they're going to let it stand. And yeah, I'm going to be thinking about things too. Yeah, I need to cut this off for my own mental health. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. And then as soon as they realize you mean it and you're staying away, that's not okay with them. All of a sudden they're like, well, wait, wait, wait. Still mean it. Still need you to do what you said you were going to do. Right. Okay. So worst case scenario is someone that can't accept the finality of it and is like trying to get you to fix it for them, fix their emotions, right? And best case scenario, this is someone that cares about you, that's watching you suffer, that wants to get in there and help, but they're trying to respect your wishes of going through something privately, but they can't help you and they wanna help you. I mean, that's that's the good side of this, is that someone's like, all right, I'll, okay, all right, I'll leave you to figure this out, but I'm right here if you need me, I'm like right here. You're like, yeah, can you go in the other room, not sit next to me on the couch, like I really need to be alone. And then they're in that room. Okay, I'm right here. I'm right. <laughs> like, got it. Where else would you be? We're in lockdown and we live together. So, okay. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? 
Well, gracious, that almost went off the thing. Okay. Nine, oh, one nine of cups. No, it's not, it's ten of cups. Ten of cups, oh. Oh, devil reversed because you're seeing it clearly. You got that perspective and you're like, no more. I'm gonna face this head on. I'm not, I'm, I'm seeing this dynamic for what it is and I wanna resolve it within myself. I'm not taking care of anybody else but me right now. That's what you're saying. This is me doing me and unto myself. Figuring out my business by myself. Wanting to, get this one. Wanting to, yeah. Wanting to see what, like, this is you going it alone, doing doing your own thinking about this. And this could be dodging a bullet, strategically getting yourself self out of something that was quite toxic. I, you know, I, this is my bias. I really wanted this to be about someone kind of overstepping because they care. Like, okay, okay, I made you cookies. Or, you know, someone that you're in connection with, someone that means well. But it's looking more and more like someone that just wants, wants you to fix their heartbreak and it used to be romantic like unbreak my heart you know make me whole again or make but that's kind of just underscoring someone's lack of coping skills that's not romantic anymore that's just poor coping skills people need to be responsible for their own emotional first aid you know what i mean okay oh wrong deck what else for Seven of, okay, seven of wands, seven of wands, nine of wands, Arr, boundaries, maintain that fortress. You, you apparently got yourself out of something and you're not looking back. So, okay, shut my mouth. You, you, good for you. And it, there, you're not, you're not going to slip up. That's for darn sure. You're, you're pretty darn firm on where you're at. Um, and for the Pisces I'm reading for, it looks like you're loving it. This is time well spent as far as your concerns. It's driving your person crazy, but where the Pisces, you're really liking this seclusion and sheltering and there's peace in the land. And it's giving you the time to sort this out and to see it for what it is and continue. It's not just being stuck on how you feel about this. There's active thinking and resolution and you kind of putting the pieces together and figuring things out and making connections. So you're in a very good place. I don't, I think your person's struggling, but I it does, for this, for Pisces I'm reading for, I don't think you care, nor should you. you. Your job is not to worry about them. Your job is to keep doing you and figuring this out. And you are, and you're in a good place to do it. Okay, all right. I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry for the yelling. <laughs> I, did, I don't like boundary invaders. <laughs> I can't do it without you. Try. Well, I'm glad I know that now then, because I don't want to be with somebody who can't. I, I can't be with a can't. I did. Okay, sorry. Not talking about you, honey. Okay, I hope to see you in the next reading. <laughs> um, I hope that this is a good month for you. It's a good solitude, good resting, shoring up month. You're in a good position. It's like you're kind of coasting. Aside from this, you're kind of just, that's good. Um, much love and support to you first responders and um, essential workers. I thank you for your service. Take care.